what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise, and I am here at the monthly Cars and Coffee event at the DuPont Registry in St. Pete, Florida, walking around, and of course, if I see a C1 Corvette, my attention is gonna be grabbed, and guess what? Not only do I just have not any C1, but I have this resto modded C1 that just has a presence to it. I'm telling you, at this show, there's $500,000 Lamborghinis, but there's been a crowd of people. I've had to wait to get this car on film for you guys, and I know how much you love Corvette. So let me give you a little bit of history about the Corvette if you are not in the now or the biggest of fans. Corvette's been around since 1953. If you like them, guess what? I hope you like wet, white with red interior because that was the only way to get it. Also, it came with a straight six and no manual transmission option. It was called the Blue Flame Six. It wasn't until 1955 where the mastermind, Zora Arcus Duntov, decided, hey, we need to put a V8 in America's sports car. If this is gonna be an America's sports car, we need to put a V8 in it. So 1955 was the first year. They still had the straight six as an option, but you could go V8. And since then, it's just spiraled out of control and we have the Corvette that we know today in the seventh generation. And that's how you distinguish your Corvettes, is based off the body style and the years, there's different generations. And it goes from C1, which this is a C1, it goes from 1953 to 1962. C2 is gonna go from 63 to 67. Guess what, the longest generation out of them all is gonna be C3, which goes from 68 all the way to 1982. And then guess what, there was a year where they didn't actually sell a car to the public that was 1983. They actually introduced the C4, fourth generation, late 1983 as a 1984 mile, and then it just goes from there, C5, C6, and now we have the C7, which came about in 2014. But let's get back to the C1. I love the styling as time was progressing, especially when they went to this dual headlight set, set up in 1958. And the way to know that this is not a 1958, right off the bat from the front end, is the hood. The hood is smooth, so it's not gonna be a 58. 58 has a louvered hood, and that's one way to separate it. Also, the 1958 C1 has the most amount of chrome on it, because out in the back, and I'll show you on the trunk, it had two chrome bars that went down the trunk. But anyways, on this one, beautiful. When we say resto mod, we're talking about restoration, we're talking about modification. And what I love what the owner did with this car is that from the front end of the business, it is that 1959 Corvette. I love the grill. I love the, the emblem on the front. Now, when it comes to Corvettes, one thing you'll notice, I don't care what year you're looking at, is that cross flag. The Chevy flag with the checkered flag, that is America's true sports car. I love the four headlights, and I love just the nice touch of chrome, but not too much. That's why for me, 58s are great, but I like the ones that follow after because they kind of toned it down just a little. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side because I'm telling you, there's nothing toned about this car. Look at these wheels. I love the style. This is what I'm talking about with the resto mod. So obviously this is not a wheel from the C1 generation, but what I like about it is that it gives it such a distinctive look and the style of it goes back to the 1960s when there were car companies and wheel companies that were making this particular style wheel. Very, very nice. I talked to the owner and guess what? There's gonna be a part two on this car because you're gonna see a big, big brake package. You're gonna see a nine inch rear in the uh, out back and you're gonna see some more magic underneath the hood. One other thing to point out about Corvettes, fiberglass. So ever since 1953, made out of fiberglass, just like this one. Going down the side with the C1s, I really love, one thing I miss from the old style is the different color of the cove. So the red with the white really pops. You have the cross flags here. And if you look at a new Corvette, go ahead. You'll see the vents on the side. That's another insignia of the Corvette. Let's go ahead and take a uh, look into the interior. All Corvettes back then in the C1 generation are convertibles. If you ever see one that looks like a has a hard roof, well, guess what? That's a hard top that was added on. I like the way that this one has that four-speed manual transmission. And during a time period where it was all about jet travel, it was all about plane travel, that instrumentation looks like something from a plane, from a jet. It looks really stylish, and this was really a time where American cars, the styling was just world-renowned and just the best of the best. Finishing out back, one thing I love, and like I was telling you, there's the trunk, there's no chrome bars, so that this is not a 58. I love the way they integrated the exhaust into the bumpers. Very clean, very smooth, it's things like that that make the Corvette a fan favorite no matter if you're old, young, or in between. And when it's resto-mounted, 
like I said, it gives that 21st century flavor. You could go mild to wild and get ready. There will be a part two of this Corvette. But if these are the types of cars you like to see on Rainey's Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not hit subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? This is what we're doing. You like exotics, we got them. You like resto mods, we got them. And we got everything in between. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of this family. Thank you for being part of this journey. It's going all the way and we're taking it to the top. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. All Rady's Rides original content all the time. If you have not gotten yourself some merch, how do you do that? Click the link at the start of this video. Shirts, hats, bandanas, bags, the whole nine yards. Get something for people that you love. Speaking of people that I love, Tom Motioner, Big Guns McGee, working the camera. He loves these classic cars, especially this rest of Monte Corvette. Show him some love. Tell him you love his work and wish him luck for his powerlifting competition. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.